Welcome to the Blueprint of Life video 15. In this video, we're going to be discussing DNA replication and how, in fact, uh, the DNA can make identical copies of itself to ensure that DNA numbers remain the same during mitosis and the production of new cells. So DNA replication is, in fact, the production of two identical double-stranded molecules of DNA from the one parent molecule. So the process begins by the DNA, so the double helix molecule, separating its two strands to become two individual parent strands. So the DNA strands unzip, so we call this separation the unzipping process, um, and this happens because the hydrogen bonds that are between the base pairs are being broken. This forms what we call a replication fork. So there are two separate strands that now form kind of like a Y shape. So the comp uh, complementary copy of each exposed strand is constructed from a bank of nucleotides that are, um, happen to be near the DNA molecules. So as I said, the first part of the process is where the DNA double helix unwinds, and this is caused by an enzyme called helicase. The second part of the process is where the DNA unzips and these two strands separate to create the replication fork. And then um, part three of the process is where nucleotides are added to each of the single strands of the parent molecule to form what we call the daughter strands, and then we form two uh, identical copies of the DNA. So these nucleotides are picked up by DNA um, polymerase, so the pool of nucleotides, and added to the complementary base pairs on the existing strand. This addition of nucleotides to the replication fork occurs in anti-parallel. So in on one strand, the nucleotides are being added from the end towards the replication fork, and then on the other strand, the DNA molecule, uh, the nucleotides are being added from the replication fork to uh, the end. So they happen um, in parallel. These base pairs that are um, being bound to the parent um, DNA molecule are checked by a DNA polymerase enzyme. Here we can see here, just an, another diagram to explain the process. So the double helix molecule with our hydrogen bonds is unwound uh, because of the helicase enzyme. And then we see that the hydrogen bonds uh, between the nucleotides break, uh, which is catalyzed by the uh, DNA polymerase enzyme. Free nucleotides that are uh, within the cell are obviously available to be added to our unzipped DNA strand. Here we have the newly synthesized strands that are made up of nucleotides from that nucleotide pool. And this results in two identical DNA molecules that contain uh, half of the original DNA molecule and the other half is a newly synthesized strand which we call the daughter strand. Thank you for watching video 15, make sure you tune in for video 16.